this is english shorthand dictation number 268 and the dictation speed is 120 words per minute ready start honorable speaker sir i thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak on this small but very important piece of legislation sir the government must admit the gross lapse on its part in extending this legislation to nagaland for nearly one and a half decades and also to himachal pradesh where family courts have been established in 2019 itself this incident came to light only when a petition was filed in the high court of himachal pradesh challenging the validity of family courts had there not been any petition we would not be discussing this bill at all sir governance is a continuous process so this kind of lapse is not acceptable and this kind of functioning of the ministry is not accepted from this government so taking advantage of this discussion i wish to appeal to all ministries of the central government to look into the acts that are under their administrative control and to see whether there are any such lapses and if there are any kindly take suitable action i would request the government to set up a committee to scrutinize all the existing laws and recommend corrective measures to the administrative ministries wherever required this is the first point i wish to make sir taking advantage of this bill i wish to speak on a few issues that are plaguing the family court system in the country be it relating to discrimination against fathers in custody cases or delays in judgment or misuse of this legislation we all must admit that the family court system in the country is not quite in the pink of health one of the reasons behind this is the lack of infrastructure and shortage of judges and judicial officers at the lower level the honorable law minister himself in reply to a question in parliament said that 11.79 lakh cases are pending in 732 family courts and uttar pradesh tops with 34% of the cases it is all happening due to shortage of family courts lack of infrastructure in the existing courts and shortage of staff the 14th finance commission did not give any money to the ministry when it sought rupees 541 crores instead it was said that 235 more family courts should be set up between 2015 and 2020 the minister may kindly share with the house what projection the ministry has made before the 15th finance commission and what it has received sir i have a few suggestions which i would like to make for better management functioning and delivery of justice in family courts and then i will conclude family courts can take the help of ngos in settlement of disputes presently we have counselors on temporary basis we have to appoint counselors on permanent basis and they should be given proper training judges in family courts need to be gender sensitized procedure in family courts should be simplified to pave the way for speedy justice the government may give a thought of appointing qualified social workers and activists as judges of family courts as per present norms a district with 1 million of population should have a family court the norm has to be changed and we must ensure that every district irrespective of size of population should have a family court judges can also act as counselors in the later part of counseling finally information and communication technology and artificial intelligence have to be extensively used to settle the cases as early as possible 
with these observations i support the bill sir at the outset i am thankful to you for giving me a chance to speak on the family courts amendment bill 2022 and i stand here to speak in favor of the bill sir the indian judiciary probably has the largest backlog of pending cases in the world this is not a problem of the system it is primarily because of the size of population that we have the number of marriages is also very high and it is probably the highest in the world as per the national judicial data grid there are around 4.7 crore cases which are pending before the courts out of this 4.5 crore cases are in the district courts or the lower courts high courts have a backlog of around 50 lakh cases and the supreme court has a backlog of around 72000 out of this 11.75 lakh cases are pending in the family courts sir the regular courts are basically burdened with civil and criminal matters and little or no attention is given to the family matters but things are changing because judicial reforms are being looked into by this government since 2014 there are pressures from individuals organizations and ngos for fast disposal of such matters the 15th report of the law commission in 1974 opened up a new paraphernalia they suggested the establishment of family courts for early disposal and settlement of family matters based on the suggestions of the law commission in 1974 and basically to reduce the burden on those trial courts the parliament passed the family courts act in 1984 and the edifice of this act was built on two strong pillars the first pillar being to promote conciliation and the second pillar being the speedy settlement of the marriage disputes which are basically brought in front of the family courts all this marked a new beginning the family courts started to get established all across the country as per the guidelines a city with more than 1 million of population will have one family court the act of 1984 laid clear terms in jurisdiction appointment of judges and powers and functions of these family courts these were going on very efficiently in 715 courts established in 26 states of the country today the present amendment of 2022 is necessitated by the case of omkar sharma versus the state of himachal pradesh which has already been discussed now it is important to mention here that the verdict delivered by those courts especially nagaland in 2008 and himachal pradesh in 2019 needs to be validated by an act of law which has to be passed from here the honorable law minister has rightfully brought this amendment in the house the first step towards solution is the identification of the problem this government has identified the problem so i thank the honorable law minister and the government to identify the issue the problem and the undoing of the previous government has to be corrected and this is the reason why this issue has been taken up in the house the state of himachal pradesh has three family courts the state of nagaland has two family courts basically this amendment validates these five family courts and the judgments delivered by these courts 
Sir, I have one small answer to make to one of our honorable members who spoke on behalf of a party which is headed by a woman who happens to be a chief minister also.